Welcome to CrystalInfoCo.uk Get Going Guides. This session we're going to be looking at freeway actions uh, and the different kinds of actions that are available within a standard setup of freeway. The main thing with actions is that they enhance what you can do with freeway. So they're add-ons that can create special effects for you or add features uh, all sorts of different other elements, uh, e-commerce, uh, forms to fill out, all sorts of different things on there. So apart from the basic freeway functions we've looked at before, um, we can add more to it. Most of the actions are generated in Java uh, language uh, and people generate these and then make them freely available for you. So the good thing about actions in freeway is that generally you don't have to pay. There are some that you do have to pay for but generally uh, they're free and we the next uh, podcast will look at how do you download and install extra actions. The main thing to look at with actions is that there are three different types of actions. The first one is ones that apply to the whole page. So page actions are actions that when you load that page they trigger some kind of event. Now to find the actions if you go to the page menu you can then go down to uh, page actions and these are things that will be triggered if you want. So simple ones uh, straight off is a background sound so if you use that it could play a little bit of music or a little background effect uh, sound uh, on your page. So anything that applies to a page without people clicking on it without them having to do anything uh, will generally be called a page action. You can only access these when nothing is selected on your page so make sure you have a nice clean page to work with. Deselect, just click outside the box if you're worried about it and then the page actions will become available. If you select something then page actions may not actually take effect uh, on that place. The second action uh, type of action is called an item action. These are actions that apply to a specific item. So if we go to the item menu uh, and go to actions, these are things that you can apply to your action. So you might want to add watermarks to images, uh, you might want them to fade in, fade out, posterize, uh, add a Google map, um, make site searches, link to different files uh, or PDFs, uh, make a form element, all sorts of different things uh, for there. So the important thing is with item actions is to make sure you have the item that you want it to apply to selected. Again if I deselect it the actions window doesn't become available so I can't uh, get to any there. If I select a text element then I get different actions. So these are actions that apply to text or fields uh, or areas uh, on your site um, other than pictures. The third type of action is an insert action. This is where there's an action where it will automatically generate a box for you which you can then position and then uh, control uh, with the settings. So if you go to insert and down to actions uh, you might want something uh, to generate a sitemap uh, and you can just click on that or a PayPal button for an e-commerce site or add a Google Maps or something like that and so if you click on it it will appear in a box which you can move around and then you can start to control that action uh, from there. So it automatically generates a box to put the action into and then you can start working with it straight away. Otherwise the other actions are you have to click on a box and then apply the action to that item. We'll look at how these actions work in later tutorials. So we'll have a particular tutorial on each action or main actions uh, that uh, we use. Um, but the main thing is to select the right one at the right time. To do the setup for it you have a window and we have an actions window that we can look at and when you have an action working up come all the different kinds of settings uh, that you can use for it. Of course you can also if you want select extra actions and you can choose your actions from within this uh, window as well. And you can have many actions working on the same page or on the same um, item so you can have all sorts of different scenes going at different times. So that's actions. They're very useful. Uh, next podcast we'll look at how to download and install custom actions uh, into your freeway software. So find me on iTunes or on YouTube uh, or www.chrislinfordco.uk and I shall see you for the next podcast.